I'm Corn Milk, and this is an intro. Roll the music. Hey, gang. Well, I didn't expect to be back here so soon because normally when inspiration comes, it comes like a truck, and then it doesn't come for like it's a, it's like it's like a supply airplane, you know? It drops down, and I'm like, thank you, thank you, and then it goes for like a month. But this morning, I woke up and was like, what if I could make a combination lock out of out of furnaces? Ha ha! And so now that's what I'm gonna do, because basically the fun thing I was playing around with after I just finished filming that video over there with the with the thing is I was I was messing around because I, I did the thing where I look in the redstone thing and I'm like oh I wonder why this is in here so I was like oh I wonder why the furnace is in there and it's because if you stick the comparator on the end our good friend the comparator you always stick the comparator on the end um it'll then measure the stuff that's in there is the best way I can explain it um so basically if you if you if you if you put stuff in there it it it, it does power wow it does power uh, it, it powers it now the thing is there was also a cool bit I figured out. I'm so bad at separating things. Oh my gosh. Um, where it, it goes up the first the first the first dot is eight. And then if you stick in sixteen, that's two. And then thirty-two is three. And then forty-eight is four. And then sixty-four is five, like a power of five. Um, so that's cool and all. But for what I'm planning on doing, that honestly doesn't really matter, which is a little disappointing. But like, hey, I'll use it next time. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is if, like, you have an entire array of furnaces, because the problem I have with, the problem I have been working on while trying to make a combination lock is I can't assign it positions. But what if I just completely ignored positions? Because if I can treat this, sim if, I, if I stick, um, if I stick a repeater in front of it, it doesn't matter so long as it's on. Because then it'll just power forever, basically. It doesn't matter so long as it's on. So, I can take that as a yes or no. And, fun thing about me, I am not a person who codes. But I do know a fair amount about binary, which is basically yes or no, one or zero. And I can understand that a little bit, so we'll get into that later. Um, but if I can take this as a yes or no input, I can make a very simple combination lock, because I just need to set it to yes or no. And, I can make it even more interesting and harder to crack, because if there are enough of them, um, I can make it so that only the right ones will set it off in the right way, and that having anything else will make it wrong. Um, which is a little bit of a complicated bit, but I'll, I'll get into it. I'll, I'll get into it with like a simpler array. Let's take a look at this, which is much simpler than everything I have over here, and much simpler than what I'm planning on doing, because today is an ambitious day for corn. Um, but anyway, if you look over here, you'll see a very neat puzzle sort of thing, where I'm trying to get this light to go all the way through and what that means is well first of all i need to space them apart more and stick a oh i'm so good at this okay um i need to boop boop um eh. Eh. 10 out of 10 corn 10 out of 10 this is so messy um let's hope this works um, anyway, I'm so good at this. Okay, focus. Uh, if we look over here, we're trying to get the light to pass through this. And so that means that for this one has to be on. So I can stick like 32 coal here, and you can see it stops there because this is where it stops. However, if I turn this on, 16, you see it lights up all the way through. However, if I had also happened to say, I don't know, turn this on, Oh, this is because it's... Dang, this is why you always test things. Okay. So it's on here. But if I had put this here, then it doesn't go through all the way anymore, because this one needs to be out of alignment. So these two need to be on, and this one needs to be off. So we can say on, on, off for the pack. And it doesn't work if I pull out any of the others. Like this, this needs to be there, and this can't be there for it to go past all the way through. I hope I made some amount of sense there. I understand it was a little bit more messy by the fact that I didn't have functional redstone in the first place because I'm so good at redstone. Woo. Um, but that's the main idea. And so, like, imagine you took a furnace array like this and then made it much bigger and put it in this system. That's kind of like a combination 
right? Like, it's kind of like a combination lock. It's at least as close to a combination lock as I can get right now. So we're going to try to do that. All right, so look at this horrible, horrific machine. Oh, I forgot to take the coal out of some of the things while I was testing. Look at it. Look at it. This is disgusting. I honestly, not quite sure how to make it better, but just like all of my redstone, it looks horrible, but I hope it gets the job done. Anyway, so this is my very nice combination lock, and what we want to do is get the bell to ring. And that sign over there has the password pre-written on it, um, but I'm not going to show you, because first I'm going to prove that no other combination works. So if we take out my coal over here, and let's say we decide we're going to put coal in... Well, we can see it works when there is coal... Like, it's not opened when there is coal in none of them, which, for me, is a great step in the right direction. Now let's see what happens if we put coal in all... Still no bell. Huh. And by still, I mean the bell wasn't ringing the first time. So now we take all of that out. Um, let's say I decide I'm going to put coal in every other one. And it also doesn't matter, doesn't matter how much coal I put in it, um, which is good because I'm really bad at dividing these. Every other doesn't work. So let's pull that coal out, do every other, every other. My nice puppet. Um, so now let's say, uh, boop, boop, one boop, boop, boop. Also no bell. So, you can see that you have to know the password to get in, hopefully. I've tested a couple of things, but I haven't tested all of them. That would take too long. So the password is this, which, if you know binary, is C. Corn milk, that's me. And I considered spelling my entire name out, but that is so long. Do you know how long that is? That is so long. I'm not putting that many furnaces down. That's a nightmare. This was a nightmare to redstone, and it's only seven furnaces. Look at this. Look at this monster. Do you think it'll get worse? I might have to start stacking them. That's horrible. So anyway, um, so the ones are for ons, and the zeros are for offs. So if I power specifically first one, and then the last two, which is C and binary... Rings. And this is the only combination that will work, because if you look over here at my web, um, if I take them all out, um, basically, we're running a line through, the, we're trying to get redstone to run all the way through these uh, lamps here. And so what I've got is, I've got pistons pushing lamps and then the bell on the other side, and so from the very first one, this is the one I'm pulling the signal from. So this is the entire setup. So this one has to be on for anything to work. And it also push this one, which lets it be in a line. I could also theoretically do this with an eighth one over here that I pulled the line from, but I just wanted to pull it from something. Um, so this, this one has to be on. Now this one, if this one is powered, it slides it out of the way, which means it can't pass through. So this has to be off. Same with this one. And then these two need to be on. And if you're wondering, hey, corn, why do you only have, like, five pushers when there are seven numbers? It's because this circuit got really complicated, so I just simplified three of them into this push here. So if any of them are on, it's bad. Um, now, what logical me says is, hey, if anyone hears that putting them in these three only, like, will only, like, move a, move a thingy-mobopper twice, um, they're gonna be sus on that. But look, I was planning on doing some fun thing where, like, these point up in the air for no reason, and I might still do that. I just don't know if it would work. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, but that was a thought I had at one point. Um, but, like, why? It's fine. It's fine. Or at least just do it for this one. But either way, I'm fine with it the way it is, and I'm pretty happy, because this is, this is, this is honestly the closest I've ever gotten to a combination lock, and it just functions on yes or no, and I'm I'm very proud of it. So now it's time to actually make something cool out of this. If you're wondering why there's a long pause there, it's because my brain went, oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Anyway, we'll figure this out. Alright, so welcome back. Um, this is my second attempt at making something cool. You don't want to see the first attempt. Um, so anyway, I've got, I'm, I'm just going to call this an escape room. Um, because you can see there are doors on the sides, and they are iron doors, and they are closed. And I've got just a furnace array, what do I do with it? So, it's my combination lock. So if I pull out the coal, and then I separate it into three. Um, for aesthetic reasons, I had to add an extra furnace there, but it doesn't mean anything. So the code is still C for coin. Yeah. 
one maybe maybe over here okay what the heck's going on I love failing to properly test my redstone. <laughs> All right, so I've made a nice escape room here. Um, woo! That's what I did with this furnace array, because I really couldn't figure out why anyone <coughs> would want to have seven consecutive furnaces just lined up. So I thought, well, what if you made a nice thing and this was decidedly, like, a combination lock to open these iron doors? Oh. God. There's no way to get out of this. You can't just break the iron doors. Um, anyway. What if it was that? So then, if we go, this is a nice combination lock, so if we ignore this one. This one is just there for aesthetic reasons, so it still is the code from before of a C in binary. And you see, you can leave now, but why would you leave when you've got these hidden chests you can't open? Psych, I definitely knew you couldn't open them. Anyway, this is a build you don't want to look around the back of, or the sides of. The front's pretty fine, it's just a wall. Um, but anyway, this is showcasing my wonderful, wonderful combination lock out of furnaces. So I hope you take that away from the video, how to build a combination lock out of furnaces, and the fact that that's cool, and not the fact that I couldn't figure out what to do with it afterwards. Anyway. Thank you.